Hi, I'm Steve Skeest, Market Development Manager for Charles Industries. And I'm Tom Randstrom, Senior Product Manager, Fiber Optic Products at Charles Industries. Charles is a leading supplier of enclosure solutions for all types of outside plant equipment. Today we're going to talk about considerations for choosing enclosure solutions for fiber to the home deployments. There's no one right way to build a fiber to the home network. From our experience, we know that no two customers do it exactly the same way. When starting a new fiber to the home project, there are many points one needs to consider to determine what's going to be the optimal solution for your situation. Among the first things to consider in a fiber to the home deployment is, is the population density, whether urban, suburban, or rural, will impact the number of homes passed and customer endpoints. This will drive the topology decisions, including fiber cable sizes, as well as distribution closure size. Secondly, one needs to consider if the deployment will be in an area with existing infrastructure, such as utility poles. Air deployments have typically been considered the least expensive deployment option, although make-ready considerations to existing poles may increase the cost and delay deployment, awaiting the approvals. There is also ongoing pole attachment costs that need to be considered. Burying the fiber offers protection against many weather-related events. The below-grade plant can be built utilizing handholds or above-grade pedestals. In the near term, it's expected in the United States that the split between buried and aerial fibers to be around 60% buried and 40% aerial. For buried deployments, customers can gain many advantages by placing splice points and distribution pedestals. One might think that putting splice points below ground is optimal as gets them out of sight. While this is true, putting splice points in handholds or vaults is actually significantly more expensive than using storage pedestals. The total installation and construction cost of material and labor for a below grade vault is at least 25% greater than a pedestal installation and as much as twice the cost if a tier rated bulk buried vault is required for the location. Considering that projects have hundreds if not thousands of splice points, many thousands of dollars can be saved per project on installation costs by splicing in an above grade pedestal or multi-purpose housing like these shown. In addition, pedestals make it quicker and easier to add and maintain fiber subscribers. Below grade splice points can often flood and be covered with snow and ice making it troublesome and expensive to work on and conduct maintenance calls. Maintaining the fiber network inside a pedestal is also less costly than a handful. Purpose design access pedestals integrate the splicing and the drops right into the pedestal for the lowest cost below grade above grade deployment solution. No added splice closure or terminal is needed. A good example is the Charles BDO series fiber distribution pedestal shown here. As Tom mentioned earlier, when the overhead infrastructure is in place, it's going to be least costly to deploy your splice closures aerially on the strand or on a pole. Aerial splice closures need to be weatherproof and insect proof. And there was a time when aerial only closures were less costly. However, these days, sealing technology has really come down in cost. And one can get a fully sealed splice closure that can be mounted aerially or below grade at a very good price point. A good example of this is the Charles Fiber Seal Drop Closure, or FSDC. It is an extremely versatile drop splice closure that can be used for any topology. It's very useful and simplifies technician training and the parts needed for customers whose service area includes a combination of aerial and below grade deployments. No matter if the deployment is aerial on a strand, on a pole, housed in a pedestal, or in a below grade enclosure, the same FSDC will meet the need. We've just covered a number of the key considerations to help you lay out your fiber to the home project. We welcome you to contact Charles Industries. We can help you select the specific solution that will work best for your situation. Thank you for watching and we hope to hear from you soon.